and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a makeup tutorial on this look right here. It is a very orangey and dramatic fall inspired look, but I love how it came out. Back on my two looks, one palette using the Mon Renaissance palette, it was requested that I use the more orangey tones by someone named Allison. So thank you, Allison, for that request. Um, so I used Burnt Orange and Real Gar to help me <laughs> with this look. I also used the Yes Please palette. So if you guys want to see how I got this very dramatic fall inspired look, then keep watching. Alright, so if I'm looking a little crazy right now, it's just because I have my eyebrows done and I prime my eyelids with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I just thought I'd skip that part because I feel like you guys have seen me do that a bazillion times. So it was requested on my Two Looks One palette using the Modern Renaissance palette that I use the orangey shades in this palette. So pretty much uh, Burnt Orange and Real Gar. And... When I got that, I was like, okay, sure. But I don't want to do something really similar to the orange halo eye that I did a couple months ago. If you haven't seen that, I will link that below in the description box for you guys. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because then I thought I would use the Yes Please palette also because there's some pretty orange sparkly shades in this. So, we'll figure it out as we go. So to start out this look, I think I'm going to go in with Burnt Orange and just put this all in the crease. Next, using the same E25 brush from Sigma, I'm going to go back in with Burnt Orange and Real Gar and buff this into the crease. I think I'm going to really focus this more below the Burnt Orange color. Next, using the brush that actually came with this palette, I'm going to take this end, the smudger side, and I'm going to dip into Red Ochre very very lightly. And I'm going to focus this on the outer V. Next, using the fluffy end of this brush, I'm just going to blend all the colors together and diffuse it a little bit. So taking the Yes Please palette, I'm going to take my finger and the color Louie and just pop this all on the lid. So next, I'm going to take this dome brush. And I've been really liking to do this lately. I don't think I talked about doing this in my Get Ready With Me. But I'm going to take Burnt Orange real gar and a little bit of red ochre and i'm really just going to focus this on the outer v i like to do this because it takes all of the crease colors and you're kind of just pulling that look together going back in with this anastasia beverly hills blending brush i'm just going to blend everything together one last time i'm going to go back in with burnt orange and real gar a little teensy bit and just put this back in the crease because I feel like some of it went away. Because I don't want to completely ruin this look by doing a wing because I know I'll mess it up. I'm going to take this angled brush and the color Cypress Umber and just line my lash line, my upper lash line. Just going to line like halfway. Alright, so I just finished up most of my face, so let's finish up through these eyes. I'm going to go in with the highlighter that I used today, and I used the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. And I say bronzer loosely because, I mean, look at this. It's like, no, that cannot be a bronzer for anyone. And this is in 743A Reserve Your Cabana. And I'm going to take this angled brush to just highlight my brow bone. I like to use the angle brush because I feel like it really gets into, like, that arch if you know what I'm saying. 
in the waterline, I'm just going to take my Ulta Automatic Eyeliner in black brown. I'm probably going to tight line with this too. Going back into the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm going to use Burnt Orange and Real Gar and this pencil brush and just run this along the lower lash line. For mascara today, I'm just using two mascaras. I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous, Voluminous Lash of Paradise on my upper lashes and then my Maybelline Great Lash, lots of lashes on my lower lashes. Today I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop lippy stick in the color Crack Me Up. This is just a really pretty, like nudie brown color. And I just think it would look perfect with this look because I feel like my eyes look like an orange leaf and the lips can be like the stem. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that red button down below to subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me if you subscribed. If you guys forgot, I'm uploading three days a week now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Follow me on all my social media that's always linked down below in the description box. Leave me any video suggestions you would like to see me do in the future. I still have a couple other suggestions. Um, I'm getting to them. I just have to plan them out and figure out what I want like how I want to do the makeup looks Or if you just want to leave a comment saying hey, please do that too. I love getting your comments and that is all I have to say So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye